Howdy folks, Sonny and South. Hope everybody doing real good. Salisbury Steak on the menu this evening. Salisbury Steak got a bad reputation from the frozen TV dinner meals that ain't really fitting to eat. I'm going to show you how to whoop some Salisbury Steaks up that are absolutely delicious. I got a pound of lean ground beef back here, half a cup of breadcrumbs. I got a whooped up egg, some ketchup, and some Montreal steak seasoning. We're going to get that stuff in that ground beef, get some patties formed up, get them in a skillet, get them seared on both sides, get some good color on them. And then we're going to pull them patties out of that skillet, whoop up a gravy. We're going to start this gravy out by sauteing some onions and mushrooms. We're going to get some minced garlic in there, kick it up a little bit on flavor with some uh, wet beef bouillon. I've got some tomato paste that's going to go in as well to add a little bit of acidity and body. Got a little bit of heavy whipping cream that's going to go in there. Two cups of uh, low sodium beef broth. We're going to hit it with a little Worcestershire sauce. And then if the color's off, I got some uh, gravy master here. We'll get in there as well. Let's get to cooking. We're going to get about a half a cup breadcrumbs in, one whooped up egg, we're going to get some ketchup in, that's about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of ketchup, put a little Montreal steak seasoning in here, and salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, if you don't have that, use whatever steak seasoning you got. Or just use onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Get about two teaspoons in there. And then we're just going to go in here and get all this together. We got that mixed up pretty good. Let's get some patty shaped out. And I like to use a lean. This is 90 or maybe 93%. So you don't end up with a bunch of grease. All right, there's the Salisbury steaks. Let's get a skillet heated up and get them a cooking. Get a little vegetable oil down. Gonna let these sear up here over medium, medium high heat, a minute or two on each side. Get some good color on them. Right, we browned up real nice on both sides. We're just gonna go ahead and pull these, set them over in the plate. And we're gonna get this gravy whooped up. Get the onion on in. Get the mushrooms in. You gotta cook the water out of these mushrooms. Let them onions soften up and 
get a little sweeter. All right, mushroom and onions looking pretty good. I'm gonna get a little Worcestershire sauce in. We're gonna get about a teaspoon of uh, wet beef bouillon in. Let this mix up here a little bit. Tomato paste. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of tomato paste in. I'm Just about three tablespoons of butter in here. Gonna get us about three tablespoons of all purpose flour in. Mix up a little roux. Let all this cook here just a minute or two. Get that old raw flour taste out of that flour. We're cooking the tomato paste as well. Get some of that sharp rawness out of it. All right, just been cooking here about two minutes, two or three minutes. Get some of that old raw taste out of that flour. Get some garlic in. Do about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of minced garlic. Get some beef broth in. About two cups. Get some whipping cream in. That's about two tablespoons. We're gonna bring this up to a good simmer. Let this thicken up. Now we'll get the patties back in here and let them cook through to about 165 internal. Get a little gravy master in. these patties back in. We're just going to let this simmer until those uh, beef patties get to about a 165 internal. Let's see what we are on temp. Getting there. Give this gravy a taste, see if it needs any adjustments. I think it needs a little bit of salt. We'll put a little more Montreal in there, season it up at the same time. Shake about. Make sure nothing's sticking on the bottom. I'm gonna flip these bad boys over.
They've been simmering about 15 minutes total. Let's see where we are. Getting pretty close to being done. Boy, that gravy looks delish. Give just a few more minutes, that'll be done. Alright, we're temping out about 165. Get them plated up. Alrighty, let's get something put together here. Of course, you gotta have some mashed taters. Go with a Salisbury steak. Some sauteed green beans. Get some gravy on here. Woo, that look good. A little parsley. Get a little pepper on them mashed taters. And some chives. And that's it, folks. Salisbury steak. Ain't no TV dinner style either. Extra good. Till next time. Peace.